am I out here doing today? Well, I'm showing you this reel. This is the Daiwa Ryoga Killer. This is a jigging master, wiki jigging from Taiwan, lever drag, level wind. Now, if you ever, like myself, I had a whole bunch of accurate twin drags from California. Loved them. I think I had like eight of them. If you were ever wanting something that was like an accurate, but you wanted the level wind, big power handle, all ball bearings, 14 ball bearings on this particular reel, look at that go. And you wanted castability, jigability, and big fish, I mean big fish capability, all at the same time, you can cast this reel. I'm casting a half ounce or three, three quarter ounce egg sinker right now. 5.2 to one gear ratio. This is the Wiki Jigging 2000 H. I'll put the links below in the video description. Now, I'm running mine on just my plain old Daiwa beef stick. Seven foot, medium action, nothing fancy, $47 rod is what I paid for it. As I've done in other videos, I've talked about the Daiwa Ryoga. If you want something like the Daiwa Ryoga crossed with an accurate twin drag. This is your reel. I use it coastally, bull reds, and I'm out here today to prove to you, hopefully, because I'm gonna be showing you actually some casting here, that this thing does just pitch behind the boat. No, it's not, you're not running top water, walking the dog on this, but with half ounce, three quarter ounce, one ounce, running one ounce sinker sometimes on this. You can pitch it and cast it and jig it. Or you can stick it in a rod holder and just bottom fish with it. The capabilities, the, that's the reason I bought these, is the capabilities for this reel are endless. The whole thing about this is it's like a accurate that it has twin drags. As you come up on the lever, it's like a brake caliper. It presses this way on the spool in the center. And the precision of the lever drag is constantly repeatable of drag pressure, unlike a star drag, where it's very difficult to repeat that exact drag pressure on a star drag reel. 14 bearings, and the nice thing about it is they call this the finger fence. That one little piece right there. So you can palm it while you're jigging. If you're vertical jigging, you can palm this, or I'm using this on this Daiwa beef stick that does not have a trigger and I can cup it and palm it just like that. So let me show you how it can actually cast. You're, you know, I don't think you're gonna see it flying through the air, but this reel does cast. Here's the rig I'm using if you can see it. I've just got a Mustad hook here with an H&H &H sparkle beetle just to simulate a glass minnow. I put my Procure Bait Sand Super Gel on here. It's on a dropper loop. There's a dropper loop right there. 
and then I go about 20 inches and I got a knocker rig with a three quarter ounce egg coming just down to a one aught Mustad 3407. I'm just using some dead shrimp here today. Nothing fancy. I'm going to put the dead shrimp on. The fish I'm actually looking for are just grocery fish. I'm hoping they're going to come through here because I'm on a little bit different spot checking it out today. And there's the bottom rig. Wow, you can kind of pop the rod and dance this sparkle beetle. So that's the rig I'm using. To cast this naturally, all level or lever drags, you have to come back on the lever. There is no pushing a button or anything like that. These have 100% free spool when you go into the, the lever going all the way back. But this isn't made for somebody who's just getting started, let's say in bait casting. This is for a bait casting master. Right. So I flick the lever back. And that's all I'm doing is I'm plunking it you know, 30 feet behind the boat. Let it go out, hit the bottom, and then I'll bring it up to the strike position. And now, I got my bait on the bottom, and all I'm gonna do is dance that little sparkle beetle to see if that can entice one of these fish that I'm looking for. It is a little heavier, of course, than a Daiwa Ryoga or any other bait caster, but at the same smaller bait caster. But at the same time, it's not that much larger of a reel. Let me tell you, it's very, very heavy duty. If you can go up against tuna, vertical jigging, like the the man who's in charge of this company, Jigging Master. Man, let me tell you, he is the man when it comes to giant fish on his own tackle. All I'm gonna do is just pop this, and I'm looking for either the shrimp to sort of entice somebody, just putting the smell out there, and I'm dancing that little sparkle beetle in the current. Is this real 150% overkill for what I'm doing right now? Of course it is. I'm not looking even for big fish. I can come out here with a zip code 202. But it is what it is right now, this time of year. But come spring and come summer, this will definitely get its uh, workout on bull reds, black drum, all kinds of larger fish. I got it and I feel like using it. This reel is beyond awesome. Oh my God, I'm in the meat. I'm in the meat with my 12 inch quarry. And of course, again, he hit the top one. Hey, it is what it is. Here's a double header. A double. One on top, one on bottom. Here's another good one on the old sparkle beetle. Good enough. Good enough. Yeah, it's getting kind of windy. They said it was going to, so sorry if you hear the wind blowing. Well, there's the chubbiest one I've had so far. All right, I just wanted to show you the difference between my uh, Ryoga, old school Ryoga, with the 7.4 to 1 gear ratio, and the Wiki Jigging 2000H. Now, there's not a ton of size difference. 
not a bunch. I mean, if you look at them, not that much. Weight, yes. So, uh, in weight, there's definitely a different weight factor. This is the Ryoga. You can sit and you can cast it all day long. No issues. This is more, you know, bottom fishing, pitching around. Um, of course, jigging. Of course, jigging. So whatever I'm doing is absolute pittance compared to what they do. But, you know, when you're addicted to tackle, the whole thing was is that I had these and I also at one time had accurate B197s and I believe accurate 270s. That's an old school number. They've changed the number since then. The B197s were this size of an accurate twin drag. Well, they didn't have level lines. So I started getting into the Ryogas. But then again, I really started thinking, well, how about if I wanted something that's just like an accurate, but I really wish they made a level wind. Well, that's when I ran into Jigging Master Wiki Reel. I do not know what Wiki Reel stands for. It says it right there. All right. Um, I do not know what that stands for, what that means. I think it means light, small, that type of thing. And that's when I found these after I got rid of my accurates. And it is confirmed 100% that yes, this reel has a twin drag system. So I just wanted to give you a little show and tell because I had subscribers say they've never heard of a Ryoga until they started watching my channel. Well, now you probably never heard of Jigging Master or Wiki Jigging, and now you have. So that's all I'm trying to do is give people a little bit of exposure of what's out there. Because if you've got the bug, if you're an ad addicted to tackle, then this might be for you. Well, I just had two guys come on by. I was wondering what they wanted. Asked me, is anything biting today? I said, what, really? I mean, I didn't think, I didn't know they were coming over to ask that. And I said, well, it's kind of like real estate. It's location, location. That's the reason I'm not out here trying for tuna with my, you know, reels that would normally be catching tuna while jigging. You know, I'm going with what the flow is. And that's the flow right there. So they said they had live and dead shrimp. I was expecting them to say, oh, we're fishing nothing but, uh, you know, top water or something. Yeah, I mean, it's January and not a ton is going on. It is what it is. Every year is totally different. They said they have not caught anything. You gotta always be careful. on a YouTube video. It's what I do. Well, they're still liking my sparkle beetle with the grease on it. With the grease on it. <laughs> grease, baby. I mean, you better have some degreaser. This is provided to me by Super clean. You can find it at all your 
major retailers. Walmart carries it. Had this provided to me by Super Clean. And let me tell you something. It says Tough Task Cleaner Degreaser. Uh, basically, engines, tools, and greasy hands. When you're done, when you're messing with this stuff, you're going to need some Super Clean to get that grease off of your hands so it ain't all over your rods and your reels. Tough Task Cleaner Degreaser. Yeah, when you're at Wally's World or something like that, you can pick this up because it's great for on the boat. Just keep one of these on the boat at all times because you never know what you're going to have to work on. And the one thing about this is it's got biodegradable detergents in it. You know, I've mentioned this Pro Cure Bait Sense before. This is probably the number one in bait sense, you know, for applying to a plug, a soft plastic. This is the inshore saltwater version. It says super sticky, super strong, super effective. I mean, you can put this on a Q-tip, put your hook through it, send it down, and somebody's going to eat it. I think I'm going to take this and put it in my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. Man, I'll take one of these all day long. Wish I was getting more of these. Nice, Whitey. Alrighty, I'm done. It's getting late. I left late. The tide's petering out. The bite slowed down, so I'm out of here. But, it was fun coming out with jigging reels that are made for giant fish. I figured I could use these inshore for just pitching and flipping around, you know, with a light sinker. I knew I could do it. So you come out and you challenge yourself. I came out with dead shrimp. I came out with sparkle beetles, you know little glass minnow looking soft plastics and the Procure. I don't ever go anywhere without my Procure. But, just to see if I could, you know, play around with these reels, show them to you, and catch some dinner. And I got an entire fish bag full. So, I'll spare you the dirty details of making the donuts. So, I'm going to clean the fish, and I'm heading home.